I'm the anime analyst. If there's one thing I know, and that's anime. Now, parodies. What do they serve? Well, they're designed to take the piss out of any genre that sees fit. And it's worked pretty well so far in mainstream media. But when it comes to anime, it just doesn't really work out. And here's the man that tried and ultimately both succeeded and failed. Koshi Rikdo. His attempt to make a parody out of all mainstream anime and Super Sentai was, well, a hit and miss affair. So why the hell am I telling you this? Because he created this piece of shit that should only be viewed by people with severe personality disorders. This is Excel Saga. First, the characters. Let's check it out. The series focuses on, you said it, a girl named as Excel, fresh out of high school, when she's hit by a truck and turned into a rambling idiot. Like so. Help! 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 Like some of today's famous people, like George W. Bush, David Hasselhoff, and my favourite, Kim Kardashian. And why this? <laughs> because everyone loves stupid and anyone who's an idiot. But the stupidity doesn't stop there. We're then introduced to a Martian named Hyatt, aka Hachan. And she's as useful as dog shit on the bottom of your shoe. She also has a seriously bad habit of coughing up blood, dropping dead, and springing back to life. And if you don't believe me, watch these clips! Seriously! just one episode. Need I say more? Moving on. Their incompetent leader, Lord Il Palazzo, who looks like a Statue of Liberty, of the group known as Across. Why Ricto chose that name will always remain a mystery to me. Now that we've covered the main characters that are in fact the bad guys in this anime, Yes, you heard right. Straight from the horse's mouth. These guys are bad. And why haven't they made any progress? Because they have a combined IQ of sliced bread, and therefore every day is an no-brainer. Now let's talk about the good guys. First, Kabal, head of city security and the man that created the fighting force that protects the city. Kinda looks like KFC's Colonel Harlan Sanders' second cousin twice removed. Next, Toro Watanabe. He's got a major crush on height and a giant pain in the ass. Norikuni Iwata, brash, self-centered employee of the Department of City Security, heavily infatuated with Matsuya and Ropa Matsu Unit 1. He's also a major pain in the ass because of his opinions and gets beaten up more often than most. and idiots in this anime. Oh, I forgot. Everyone loves an idiot and can't get enough of dumb shit they see. And where was I? Oh, yes! Daimaru Sumiyoshi, the voice of reason in the group, but he's mute and pragmatic. Intelligent and independent female member Masaki Matsuya and cute little android girl Ropa Matsu, who always screws up her missions. Oh my god! What? The good guys are just as fucked up as the bad guys. What was the application process for these wannabe superheroes? Interview, then come up with some weird sex position? 
I've seen monkeys well better behaved than this. Finally, characters that have no relevance to the story whatsoever. They include a dead construction worker named Pedro, who's trying to get in touch with his sexy wife. Nabashin, hell if I knew what purpose he serves. Menchi, a small annoying dog. The Great Wheel of the Macrocosm, basically a galaxy with arms, which turns out that this thing is, and Pedro's sexy wife, are, uh, well, one and the same. The Puchus? An alien race which resemble weird little teddy bears. Sarah Cosette, a childlike assassin, slash, a cross member. And yes, it's complicated. That man, Nemesis to Nabashin and Pedro. And finally, the author, Koshi Ricto, who gives his approval at the start of every episode. And if now, if you thought all of that was messed up, here are the subplots within the plot. <clears throat> Across wants to take over F-City, Kabaku's troop is trying to stop that, XL's trying to get jiggy with Oil Palazzo, Toru Watanabe wants to get jiggy with Hyatt, Nafina Watanabe wants to get jiggy with Matsuya, that man's trying to get jiggy with Pedro's sexy wife, Pedro's trying to get back to his wife, the pictures want to rule the world, Nabuji's trying to help Pedro, and finally, Koshi Ricto wants to give his approval via a different genre. And another thing! How the fuck did this anime get critical acclaim? The plot and characters are seriously fucked up, no one or nothing makes sense. And Excel, well, she just goes on and 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 on If you watch this anime, you're guaranteed to become a rambling idiot. I'm the Animax, there's one thing I know and that's anime. Hi Analyst, what's up? Don't ask. <laughs>